What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the past series here on Speed. We are at Dover International. Wait, is it internet? I can't remember. Speedway. Dover International Speedway. Yeah, that sounds about right. We're at Dover. Getting ready for what will probably be chaos, but we're hoping it'll be a good race. We've got a bunch of not, maybe not amateurs, but definitely not, like, you know. Anyways, we're at Dover for a quick 60 lap event. This is gonna get crazy. Coming to the green flag. Jason Hedelski, your pole sitter, Ken Weaver on his outside. Here we go. Green flag in the air. We're racing from Dover. Stretch for the first time. Pedalski holds the lead as he hops down to the bottom in front of Justin Allgaier. How about Allgaier having a great start to this event? First lap in the books, and here comes Allgaier looking low. Side by side for the lead. Can Pedalski hold on up top? No, he backs off big time. Here comes Ryan Howard in the 59 car with last race winner. Uh, Brad Coleman behind. Oh, huge crash. Todd Bosher. And we're wrecking it again on the front stretch. The 97 gets turned sideways. She's going to save it. Very lucky there because this is a self-cleaning racetrack. She was... It, usually you hit either both walls or one. One of... Uh, one of the walls, but usually you don't, you don't escape without hitting anything, so that was really a lucky break for her, but let's see what happens to Ty Bosher down the back stretch. This gets cleaned out by the 32 car, gets sent around by Borklin, spins around, bang, two big impacts, almost turned that 21 car over, let's back it up here and slow it down. Ricochet is off the 94 of Duggan Basham and then up into the path of the 13 of Johnny Leonard. Sends the car up on its side and Leonard slides through 3 and 4. Gets collected by the 9 of Matt Hagens. Or that's, uh, yeah, that is Matt Hagens. So. <sighs> Wild ride there. Use the sound of uh, my chair squeaking there. Really All right, um, we're jumping back into it here. Green flag is back in the air. Sorry, we missed the restart, but it is what it is. Y'all didn't really miss anything. Justin Allgaier, your race leader. One car coming out of pit road. It's a 79. Mike Cook. Three wide. Oh boy, bouncing off of each other. Daryl Basham on the bottom. Todd Bosher, who's somehow still in this race after that big impact. A lap down was in the middle. Oh, three, uh, Reckon off turn two. He saves it, actually. That's Brad Smith in the 26. What a save. But I do believe that's going to bring out the... No, it's not going to bring out the caution. We are still racing here from Dover. How about that save from Brad Smith? Never seen anything quite like that. Another tremendous save. Three wide down the back stretch. And... Almost contact being made in a turn three. Warren Benning down there. They are shuffling around on the front straight away. Three wide in the turn one. Look at Mike Harmon. Taking it to the middle, getting by Doug and Basham. These lap cars, these damaged lap cars, way off the pace, kind of just mixing things up here. Now three wide off turn four. Dexter Bean and Ricky Sanders bouncing off each other down the front stretch. And 
they're gonna keep it straight. Look at Andy Belmont in the one, being held up by the 26 there. He's gonna try to find a way to get past Brad Smith. Whoa, Smith just found a lot of speed out of nowhere down the back stretch. He hops down to the bottom and about wrecked Blake Borkland. Here comes the 26 now. Falls in line behind. That bottom line is clogged here as they are trying to get by lap traffic. And these lap cars are racing each other too, so they're not really in a position to just roll over for these leaders either. So. Here comes the 70 of Justin Dirks getting by. 94 car. I'm still surprised Brad Smith was able to save it. And not only save it, but he's still rolling here as if his tires aren't killed from that. So maybe his tires are fine, who knows? But I was expecting other results from that. But Brad Coleman, your leader. Coleman just kind of showed up and started dominating here. I'm not sure where he came from. But the rookie is making his name known. Here comes the 06. Tim Mitchell underneath. Jason Hedelski. The 34. Daryl Basham on the high side getting held up by the 08. He had a nice run off the top on Scott Lackey Jr. in the 4. Last week, or last race, it was Chase Miller driving that four car. Miller had a mechanical issue coming to a restart, so that took him out of the race. But Legacy looking to have better luck than that. He's running inside the top ten. How about Val Wolf after that save? She has a little bit of damage to the left side of that car, but nothing that'll slow her down. It's about time for us to take our break. Let's check on the back of the field and make sure they've gotten by the lap traffic they have. So, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Dover. We are approaching halfway. Checked out. He is gone. Justin Allgaier running second. Four seconds behind. About to be five seconds behind that 62 car. I'm not sure what his, his engine. What kind of engine he's running. But it, I, I don't know how it passed the spec. Because that car is flying, man. Oh, contact, Gerhardt sideways, as Frank Kimmel got into the back of him there. They keep it straight somehow. But that could have gotten really bad there. We don't really 
see her perform to that level on uh, bigger tracks. Seems to be more of a short track specialist, which is fine. Because there are quite a lot of short tracks on this schedule, but um, they're going to they're gonna want to develop a little bit of skill on different tracks before she ends up moving up. So, it's a good thing she is here. Like we are racing for a championship this year. Clearly not in the title hunt, but still going for it. And I think it's time to take another break. There's really nothing to happen, so we're going to go ahead and do so right now. Alright, welcome back. Caution is out. Let's see what it's for. It is for Kevin Hamlin. Oh, what happened to that 99 car? Some big time damage. The wreck happened in front of him. Oh, down on the apron. Oh, no, that's a hard hit for Will Vaught. Andrew Myers, Blake Borkland, and Aaron Crocker get collected and then trying to escape down on the apron as the cars came back down. You see Andy Belmont and Kevin Hamlin getting some damage as well. So, tough break for them there. Oh boy, got lap traffic up here again, that's going to stack everything back up on this restart. Things might get wild here. The engine Myers in the 7, caution is out once again. Apparently somebody didn't make it back around. Unless I'm missing something here, because I don't see anybody. Brad Smith? He's got some damage on the right front. Oh, they're wrecking a turn one. Wait a minute. I am confused. Okay, we're gonna... What happened here? I literally see no reason for a caution. I am I going crazy or Oh, I heard something. No, don't see anything. Okay, so anyways. The caution is back out for whatever reason. Again, <laughs> maybe race control didn't see something or saw something they didn't like on the restart. So I had to bunch them up and try it again. We're gonna 
try this one more time. Pace car is in. Hopefully for real this time. Green flag. About to fly once again. And there it is. Green flag in the air. We're racing once again here from Dover. And we're wrecking already. Big pile up on the front straightaway. That's going to bring out another caution. Multiple cars. Torn up at the back of the field. Alright, let's go back and see what happened here. Someone must have blew up or missed the shift or something. All stacked up on top of each other here. Oh, they got together and went into the world. What in the world? One was trying to come down, the other was trying to come up, and they just completely messed that up. The second we went green, I'm not sure what happened there. But let's try this again here. Green flag back in the air. For real this time, it seems. Finally. We're within 10 to go, so. Things are about to get wild. And we're wrecking. Brad Smith is around on the front stretch. Or, not on the, on the back stretch. Or off turn two, close enough to the back stretch. We are slamming each other down the front straightaway. They somehow made it out alive, but some cars were headed straight for that inside wall. Brad Smith, not having a great day here today. Follows me on Instagram for whatever reason. <laughs> not sure how he found me, but I'm not mad at it. But, um, yeah. Just gets turned. Backs it into the outside wall. And then looks like it's beached here. That 26 car just either quit on him or he got stuck. I'm not sure. I can't quite tell. That car is going to need a tow. Let's try this one more time here. So we're going to be a green-white checkers. Green flag back in the air. Two laps to go. Brad Smith way off the pace. He's going to try to make it to the end here. Dan Shaver in second place driving that number two car. He's trying to get up there and get that first win. White flag in the air. One more time around here from Dover. Brad Coleman. Absolutely dominated here today, just like he did in Bristol. He's going to go back to back here in the past series, and he wins from Dover. Checkered flag for Brad Coleman. Wow, okay, <laughs> that's gonna do it. Um, yeah, for some reason Todd Bosher is on pit road, like, right before the end of the race, but that's gonna do it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time, and until then,